have a real short devotion that I'd like to share with you. How many know who Sennacherib is? Okay, it's a, it's a, he is a king of Assyria. And uh, to put it in modern day vernacular, he was a bad dude. To be the king of Assyria meant that you were pretty ruthless. And God had placed a king on the throne in the southern kingdom in Jerusalem by the name of Hezekiah. And he was 21 years old when he became king. And he ruled for 29 years. Well, Hezekiah, the first thing that he did was to tear down all the false idols, all the high places that the children of Israel, God's people, had been worshiping. He brought back into focus Jehovah God as the one true God and he began to conquer different areas that had been taken away from the southern kingdom and within the first four years he took everything from Jerusalem to Gaza that sound familiar to you? he took all that territory so then the Assyrians began to attack he took care of the Philistines but the Assyrians began to attack and began to take land uh, from others and began to approach Jerusalem. So uh, Sennacherib sent an envoy uh, to Hezekiah saying, you know, you need to give up. And, well, first of all, he said, you need to give me all your gold and silver and I want to attack. And he did that when he came on anyway. And um, that all teaches us a lesson about today, doesn't it? You know what I'm saying? Uh, diplomatic uh, relations really don't work a lot in that area of the world. But Sennacherib came on and then uh, Hezekiah decided to go to God and God told him to stand strong against Sennacherib. And so he sent in a, uh, a Hebrew way of saying, we're going to fight you. And the first thing that Sennacherib did, he's a wise man, he sent one of his men who spoke perfect Hebrew to speak to the people and say, your leader is nuts because you're going to die. And he tried to propagandize the children of Israel into turning against their God-given leader, Hezekiah. But Hezekiah went to the Lord again. The Lord told him to steadfast and to be unmovable. And that night, one angel came into the camp of Sennacherib and killed 158,000 Assyrian troops. One night, one angel killed 158,000 men in the camp of Sennacherib. Sennacherib went home. He left Jerusalem area. While he was there at home, he went to his God to see if maybe he could get some direction. While he was worshiping, according to 2 Kings, the 18th chapter, and, verse, and uh, the 19th chapter, his sons came in and killed him with a sword. All that happened within 48 hours. But he had mocked God before God's people and before Hezekiah. And you can't do that. But here's the lesson that I want you to learn tonight. When Jesus was standing in the garden and Judas came to Jesus, Peter, I identify with Peter, took out a sword and cut off the ear of the high priest's servant. And Jesus said, put the sword up. He healed the man's ear. Remember that? But then he said, according to Matthew, I could call 12 legions of angels to protect me. Now, I looked up this afternoon what a legion was. A legion is between 3,000 and 6,000 individuals. So I rounded it off to 4,500. 45, and then I said 12 times it. That's 53,000 angels. And one angel killed 158,000 Assyrian warriors. Jesus said, I could call 12 legions. But he didn't. You know why? For God so loved the world, 
that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Should not perish. He had the power to bring 12 legions of angels to rescue you, but he chose to go to the cross for you and for me. What do we choose for him each day of our life? Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this fellowship. We thank you for those that have been willing to come and to use their talents. And, and Lord, we just thank you for a good time in the Lord. Thank you for all these desserts that were made and the time and the effort that went into that. And, and Lord, we thank you for this church. And, and I pray, Lord, that we would be a lighthouse and that we would reflect back your power as you work in our lives. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you that he died on the cross for us and that we can believe in him and have a Savior that's alive today. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You're dismissed. Thank you for coming.